In the last lecture, I explained what is supermesh and how to perform the supermesh analysis. And now, in this lecture, we are going to solve one problem using supermesh analysis. And the problem I have taken is the same problem we took in KCL and KVL solved problem lecture. And in this problem, we are required to calculate the power supplied by the voltage source. And if you look at the network, you will find there is only one voltage source. So we are required to calculate the power supplied or power delivered by this voltage source. And using KCL and KVL, we obtained the power delivered and we found it to be 0 watt. Now this time, we are going to use super mesh analysis to obtain the power delivered by this source. So it is clear that we first want to calculate the current in this branch and once we have the current in this branch, we will multiply it with the voltage to have the power delivered. So let's move on to our solution. And the step number one in super mesh analysis is same as the step number one in mesh analysis. That is, we will identify the total number of meshes. And in this network, we have one, two, and three meshes. So number of mesh in the network is equal to 3. Now in step number 2 we will assign the mesh currents. Let's say I1 is the mesh current in mesh number 1 flowing in clockwise direction. I2 is the current in mesh number 2 flowing in clockwise direction and I3 is the current in mesh number 3 flowing in clockwise direction. So we are done with step number 2. Now in step number 3 we obtain the mesh equations but here we have current sources and we don't know about the voltage across these two current sources. Therefore we will not develop the KVL equations but we will obtain the super mesh and we know the process to obtain the super mesh. We obtain the super mesh when the current source is shared by two meshes. Here you can see that this current source is shared by mesh number one and mesh number two and this current source is shared by mesh number two and mesh number three. Therefore, we will remove the two current sources and we will have a super mesh. So let us quickly copy the network and then we will paste it and we will remove the branch having the two current sources like this. So we are having a super mesh and now we will apply KVL in this super mesh. We will start from this point. We will move in this direction. So we have minus 10, minus 10. Then we have I2 multiplied to 1 with negative sign. So we have I2. Through this resistor, current I2 is flowing. You can look in this particular mesh, current I2 is flowing. Therefore, we have minus I2 again. Now, through this resistor, current I1 is flowing. So we have minus I1. And through this resistor, again current I1 is flowing. So we have minus I1. Then we move back to the same point. So this is our KVL equation we have obtained from the super mesh. Now we will simplify this and we have I1 plus I2 equal to minus 5. Let's call this equation number 1. In order to have the current I, we need to have current I3. So we have three unknowns, 
i1, i2 and i3 and here in this equation we have i1 and i2. Now to get the value of i3 we need more equations and we can have more equations if we focus on the branch having the current source. Let us focus on this branch first. Current source is there providing 1 ampere current. This means in this branch 1 ampere is the current. So we have 1 ampere current in this branch. I have drawn it here and if you look at current I1 you will find it is flowing in opposite direction of the 1 ampere current. So this is how I1 is flowing and I2 is flowing in the same direction. So the net current which is 1 ampere is having the same direction as I2. So I2 minus I1 will be equal to 1 because I2 is the larger current. This is our equation number 2. Now we will analyze this branch having 2 ampere current source. I will draw the branch here. 2 ampere is the current in this branch and current I2 is flowing in opposite direction I2 and I3 is flowing in the same direction I3. This means current I3 minus I2 is equal to 2. I3 minus I2 is equal to 2. This is our equation number 3. Now we will add the first equation and the second equation. This will give us current I2 equal to minus 2 amperes. Now we will put I2 here and this will give us I3 plus 2 equal to 2 or we can say I3 is equal to 0 ampere. Now 0 ampere is the current. Therefore power delivered will be equal to 0 multiplied to 10 that is 0 watt. So we are getting the same answer using the super mesh analysis as well. So I hope now super mesh analysis is clear to you and if you have any question you may ask in the comment section. Now I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.